What's up, everybody? It's the big go. <laughs> but you already know that, though. So, um, check this out, everybody. Here's episode three, finally, um, dropping today. I've been sitting on this clip for a while now. I just neglected to upload it. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what other things I can do for this channel. But let's dive into this gameplay because it actually gets a bit better we actually discover a new antagonist all right so and uh i kind of messed up my uh capture card by the way so um a portion of this do not have game volume but thanks to edits my voice is all that will be need so let's just hurry up and dive into this all right guys look like we're here um so, uh, what do, what was we doing last time, guys? Uh, oh, yeah. So, what we did was, uh, we needed to get the batteries for the, um, the ladder downstairs, right? But it needs more than one battery. So, what we're going to do is literally find the film, since we already have one battery. Find the film and go to the room and start the projector thingy because we, we we searched this whole place for a second battery and did not find it oh my goodness and let's go through this kitchen see if we find any clues in here and uh every time we come into this kitchen i always notice something new and more disgusting like it's is this kitchen is just beyond ridiculous but it says the oven door is stuck. We have to find something to pry it open. And what I'm noticing this time around, uh, I don't know if y'all just seen that. I kind of walked past it, but there was like, um, the stellest bread on the planet. I mean, like, come on now, let's be honest. Who would eat bread that came out of this kitchen? The kitchen is so dirty, it looked like it's been avoided for about three millenniums. The bread in this kitchen, as of now, could be classified as a weapon. Do you know how stale that bread is, bro? That bread is harder than a brick wall. That bread is like shooting a bowling ball out of a goddamn 1950s revolutionary cannon. That that bread is so stale. You know what? I'm done. Man, look at this kitchen, man. It is atrocious, bro. Like, I remember as a kid, my mom would just, just, she would have my head if the kitchen looked like this. I swear. I mean, she wouldn't be mad at the bottles of wine sitting there covered in dust. She might actually invite that. The older it is, the better. But, with that being said, it's just like, mmm. Mm, it's so dirty man i'm just realizing my freaking volume is like off for some reason and i i don't know what's going on and i don't feel like pausing it or anything trying to fix it so let's just keep going hopefully it'll come back maybe it's a game glitch maybe i don't know but um yeah guys like i i just don't understand man I, uh, my volume's off, so this makes it so much more deadly. I do not know where this man is. I do not know where he's coming from. This is just, just freaking scary at this point. Not knowing where your antagonist is located is kind of bad. It's kind of like feeling like somebody's breathing down your neck, but nobody's there, dude. Do you look back or no? Like... Man, not having no sound is really creeping me out, bro. I do not know where this man's at. So let's just hurry up to the film room. Maybe we can find, like, I don't know, a hint to find the film or whatever. Oh! Oh, my goodness. And here comes Naked Bernard to just... Oh, man, man. Get off my Nargo gangers, bro. Get, take that snowball. Yeah, yeah, I just hit you with your family heirloom, son. What is you finna do about it? Yeah, 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 take this too. Bow! I learned some new tricks, boy. I was ready for them naked butt cheeks, boy. Come on, boy. What you doing? Look, look, he hurt right now, yo. He hurt right now, yo. This is the best right now. I came out with some new tips, tricks, and skills on this man. He can't. Look how slow he moving, boy. We finna win this this time, though. I ain't scared of nothing. Look, look at this man. Look at this man. Look, look how slow he. Oh, he gained speed. He healed up. Forget it. Come on. We're going to stab him in the chest. We're going to get out of here. Let's go. 
Get off me. Get off me. Get off. You know, this is entirely extremely boring without no sound. But we're going to keep going on it. We're going to just keep going. You know, we, we're going to need some sound. Remind me. I need to remind myself later during editing to not use this part. All right. Naked Bernard has finally uh, left. I'm assuming we still have no sound. <laughs> so it's kind of messed up. It's whatever though. So, but since he's not right here right now, we have actually reached our goal. Let's just creep into his office, get to that projector, and see what happens after we put the battery in with no film. All right. So let's put this battery in into this uh this uh this super old movie projector here. Yeah, that's the battery right there. Yep. Perfect fit. It works, y'all. It works. We got it. Boom. Close that sucker. Smack. All right. Now we just have to find the film. Hey, so it didn't give me the ch option to do the thing before. Wait, what's this note say? So it says, Dr. Felton, I do not think I have had the strength or the courage to keep up with your story. Therapy is not bringing you anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. I've got rid of the film, reviewing your sessions of mesmerization, hurry your mental health. Don't try to take it. I've thrown it in an oven. So it's an oven. All right, so we at least know what the oven is for. Maybe I should start reading that more, reading these stuff more. So so we need to start reading these little notes and whatever that we keep walking past, and it's going to drop us some hints. That's what I'm assuming. So we need to get to this oven, but first we need to find something that will open the oven, and I have no idea what that might be. Here, let's find something. Let's just look around. Man, not having sound is so annoying, but... Oh! There's my sound! Oh! My sound is back, y'all! Hey! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about, man. The game is messing up. Now we can have some intensity. Now we can listen to this man complain about not being able to find his pills and about how stale the bread is in that kitchen because, you know, that's the only thing he ever talk. Don't forget about that little piggy song he be singing, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, man, this man's a character for you, boy. This man is a character. Well, at least we have sound. We can be more vigilant, but we still have no idea what the item can be or where it could be. And I hear this man right now. Let me get in this closet, bro. That once you hear that, <laughs> sound, that means he's nearby. We need to stay away from that sound. That <laughs> sound. That <laughs> sound. We need to stay away from that <laughs> sound. All right, guys. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but <laughs> that's a bad sound. <laughs> bad sound. And it, it, I'm telling you, he's right down the steps. That's that's where I'm hearing this from. And I don't know if you guys can hear it as well, but. I'm, I'm, I hear him down the steps. Like I'm unsure. Like I'm, I, I'm really about to leave his closet right now just to go check, bro. Cause he kind of walks weird. Yeah, I just heard a door. Okay. Okay. He's coming from the right side. Okay. Okay. It's not the little piggy song. But it is a song. It is being creep. I heard it. I heard the door again. Yeah, let's let's just let's just leave the closet. Yeah, you know I mean, wait, wait. Up. Oh, I hear a SpongeBob. Noisy little. Oh, what you noisy? What? Noisy what? Noisy. Whoa, little. what noise? What noise? You're hearing things, bro. When I got it, is the only thing I'm putting on my list of gifts to buy for your birthday is nothing not even hearing aids because honestly this man has some super sonic Come hearing on. on him or something this bro. Like, look at this man. funny it, 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 i know it's not funny bro you over here chasing me from i don't know ghost whispers or something bro how did you know i was right here bro stop knocking on my door bro i'm not answering it i don't want no no naked butt cookies from the naked butt troops boy get out of here man this naked butt Man, Scout, bro, he's bugging with me, bro. Like, he's keeping me in the closet. Put the damn pills. Bro, he's still down here, bro. Get away from him, bro. You guarding a whole facility, and it's annoying, man. Just, just, is he coming back over here? 
Oh man, there he is. Oh, he turned back. Yay! Now we can creep. Now we continue on creeping. We gotta hurry up, but not too fast because this man can hear a mouse fart. Facts. I mean, like, look at how old this man is, bro. It looks like he he farts out bones, like bits of pizzas of his entire. Bro, that's even messed up to say about old people, bro. That's so messed up. I love my grandma. All right, bro, let's get back to the objective here. Making my way through the kitchen, walking fast, cause this place is dirtier than my, not my house. -na 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 There's a cookbook -na 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 on the table. -na 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 -na. That looks like Chinese takeout. -na 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 -na. You know the styrofoam. -na 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 -na. The styrofoam tray. -na 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 -na. But it's a cookbook. Okay, I've been searching through this house for about 30 minutes now. What we about to do is cheat. I'm going to pause this game right now. We're going to consult for the people. Everybody in my live chat, chat right now, tell me where this item is to open the oven. Please tell me. Give me a second, YouTube. Okay? Okay, YouTube. Give me one second. Let me one second. I'm sorry. I got to pause the game. Let me one Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks, Draco. Alright, uh, it seems like everybody is saying that, um, that, 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 wait, let me just confirm. Yeah, every, everybody's saying that it is in the basement. It, no, not the basement. It's in the kitchen. Bro, we was just in the kitchen. I was singing in the kitchen. Okay. 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 So, so guys, check this out. Everybody's saying that the item is in the kitchen next to a chair and we have to climb on a chair in order to get it. So let's, let's just go see. Make my way back to the kitchen where there's more rats in every fast food restaurant. Cause it's dirty. Cause it's abandoned. And now I'm looking. Hey, you know what? All right. So they say it's on a shelf. We have to. We have to climb on the a chair to get this item. Like, so just look for look for a chair. Something I could climb on. Look, look, there's a chair right here, right? All right, let's see if we can. I just do. I just heard him open the door, bro. I know y'all just heard that, bro. We got to stay down. We got to stay down. We got to duck under these dirty, dusty, nasty counters, okay? You know, I might just stop roasting my man's house. It's actually pretty livid, bro. Oh, we found it. We found the item. No. Shit. This is my. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Bro, every time. Everything you touch, you break. Hurry up. Grab it. Come on. Let's go. Bitch. Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bro, I do not know which way he's coming from. Oh, I hear him opening the door, bro. He's coming from behind me. Yup. He's right here. Oh, my goodness, bro. We got to go. We got to move. Bro, there's no time to hide, bro. He's like, ah, I knew it. Bro, oh, you're bad. Move. You're blocking the way. No, no. Bust through that door. We out. Bro, I ain't swallowing nothing. I'm a spitter, not a swallower. No homo pause. Break time. We out. We out. You ain't catching us, bro. Run through this door. We're going to close this door. We're going to hold this door, bro. Yeah. We ain't opening nothing. I'm not dressed. I am not an appropriate attire. I will not accompany you to the ball. My name is not Cinderella, and you are not a prince with a glass slipper. Get the hell away from me. Uh, get the hell away. Look, listen, listen to this man, Ryan. He looking for me. He this is looking. my house. No, you cannot it is no this. longer your house. I own this mother sucker now. I own it now. I'm just hiding under the, you know, the couch because I'm like six years old mentally, you know, what we call There's pillow nothing forts. Left <laughs> to eat. It's all molded. Yeah, it's molded. You got to go somewhere, bro. You ain't see that stale bread? The stale bread not moldy, but you might have to dunk that sucker in some water a few times before it gets soft, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
but we got the hand on God. We just gotta, you know, make sure the coast is clear before you open 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 up the oven. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Here it is. The moment no one's been waiting for. Let's see if somehow she can make the. Never mind. Oh, what is going on? Oh my God. So she opens up the oven extremely loud. Now she's getting attacked by monarchs. I mean, she's doing well by not screaming too loud, but still, you're making noise. Don't sneak through somebody's house like that. You see how dirty that kitchen is? You should have been expecting it. Matter of fact, you should have been expecting spiders. I would have probably been scared too by the monarch. I would have been like, my, I mentally prepared myself for a million spiders, bats, vampires, werewolves, all that. Not monarchs, not little freaking moth flies come up, man. Whatever. Let's go put this film in. We got the film. We're making progress. Let's go. Making my way through his house, walking fast, about to expose me a murderer. What's on this film? You gonna get killed? I'm gonna call the cops and say I got evidence. Nope, I can't do that. Being a snitch is wrong. I am not Takashi 69. I'm just gonna kill the guy by myself. All right, let's put the film in. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, let's keep going. All right, let's watch. All right, let's watch. Okay, she's putting it in. All right, okay. She's, we, we got it in. Let's hit the bar. Oh, a cut scene. I'm gonna shut up. Mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton, I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I, I can't follow. Stay calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I don't remember. I, I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste, can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. It's my entire fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find Who her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? But she wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in, in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but the man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She, she should have never been born. My father, he to prevent me from oh my goodness you naked prince where the hell did you come from bro doctor 
Yes, that's why I came. You found what you were looking for. That's everything I found. Just, just give it to me. I'll be making my way out. Right, you warn you. Just, you should have no, listened. No, I don't listen to you. I listen to myself. Give me the film and Is let go really of me. I am not a put yourself mutt into you are not a dog catcher. You know what? Let me just finish this cat scene before I start roasting this man's life. I could. I'm about to bury him. My words, bro. Stop, you bitch. <laughs> Some things die and stay dead forever. Other things die and just linger in time. Uh, sir, sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us. Just one afternoon, we never saw her again. Fucking liar! You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh! <laughs> you don't understand. You, you have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. <laughs> and didn't you think of the pain? <laughs> Your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where only the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with your daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. It wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I, I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No. Can't be. And yet... You saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. You're disgusting murderer. You're a murderer. Well, you know what? I'm extremely Forgive excited me. for this story now. After I was what just, just her this cutscene just set everything you, in question. You came to us to, to free us. It set to everything in question. Oh my! Oh What's this? God. Oh Lord! You see that? They got the goat. Pagan sacrifice the ghost bleeding. You know I'm not even gonna lie though. This, this. Oh my goodness, that that is so loud. I will edit this down later. But no, yo, this story just got mad interesting, bro. Who's Jennifer? I thought we was looking for Celeste. I thought he called Celeste Jennifer, but I, obviously Jennifer looks like Celeste, but a totally different person, yo. So and not only that. Bro, it's just so much going on. It, 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 it's so much going on. Who is he protecting her from? I thought he killed her. Bro, I don't know what's going on. That's right. Let's go. Let's move it. Let's move it. Let's move it. No, no. Let's oh, 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 oh. Yo, that's the chick from the um, painting. She just wore the blues clues, bro. She just hopped off the paint to come and kill us, bro. We got to get, bro. She's holding the whole spinal cord as a weapon, bro. Like, she has a whole spinal cord as a weapon, bro. She just smacked me with somebody's spinal cord. Like Bam. Close the door on you, sweetheart. Can we hold it down? Oh, it's not loading. It's not loading. Hold the door. She just opened the door. But you know what? I got a bottle of norm, uh, um, ammonia. Yeah, eat that bleach, girl. Eat that bleach. How did you like it? Slip and slide into this goddamn locker. Oh, she got high heels on, too. She's getting close. Ooh, child. I am not in the closet. So that's me. I left the closet a very long time. Let me 
be soft. Alright, so we got two antagonists now. We got a whole red nun. We got a red nun. Okay. We got a red nun with a bird for her face. That's interesting. This episode has been interesting, but because we got so far, you know, we only literally got four objectives left, as you can see. But she's literally called hide yourself from the So we have a second attack antagonist. We actually made plenty of progress. We got out some jokes and laughs and everything. So you already know what I'm about to do here. I'm about to conclude this this video right here. Okay, I'm about to end the video right here, all right, y'all? I'm sorry, but I had to. I'm going to end the video right here because we made so much progress. Not only that, I want more for us to look forward to. So, that being said, hit that like button. You already know. Subscribe. You know what? Forget that. Just let me know if you want to see another one, all right? You know, I'm going to do it anyway. Episode 4 coming to you soon. All right. Um, yeah, I know. I kind of lied. I was kind of curious. I wanted to see what the red nun looked like walking through the house. Wait, wait. And, uh, this is what I see. I see Celeste is still alive running through the house. I see Celeste is still alive running through the house. So this is this is footage during a live stream. I, I, I kind of um just was like, you know, let me just uh, keep going for like five more minutes just to see what happens, just to see what, what was in the store. This is what ha what happened. I don't want nobody on YouTube to get, uh, you know, feel unincluded or not know what happens in episode four. It's like, oh, why do you have to go in the attic now? It's because I ran into, into a little girl and then tell y'all about it. It's too much. So. Reach to live, follow what you got. All right, so we found the little, we found her daughter. The daughter's in the attic. You know what we have to do? We have to get back into the office, take one of the batteries out of the projector, find the second battery, somehow get that ladder in the basement up to the third floor, or it, we might be using that ladder to I don't know go into ventilation systems. It might be using this third floor right here to get into the attic, or even the, what's that sound? I don't like that sound, so we're definitely going to end it here. Or use the elevator to get up there. Bro, I don't know what that sound is, but it's really bothering me, bro. I'll see y'all next time, alright?